So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the Pentonic V-RT, which is a relatively new retractable ballpoint pen from a company called Link, that's L-I-N-C. That is an Indian manufacturer of uh, different pens. Fairly popular in India. They make some uh, really cool pens. They haven't had any real penetration in the US. There's a bunch of Indian pen manufacturers and you might have seen some of their pens, like Cello, but Pentonic is not really one you see much in the US. Maybe about two years ago, 18 months ago, something like that, Link released this line called the Pentonic or Pentonic in this capped ballpoint version. And these are pretty easy to find now, but you only really see it if you're hunting it down. And this was Link's, I guess, as I understand it, it was the company's attempt at a uh, modern, high design, but still affordable ballpoint pen. I think they did a really nice job with it. And it's, uh, it's kind of a shame you don't see these too much in the US because they're quite cheap and they're quite reliable and uh, they work well. You know, I don't have any problems with this pen, uh, despite the fact that it's, I mean, except for that, it's pretty hard to find in the US unless you're looking for it, but it's a good ballpoint pen. In India, it would sell for uh, the equivalent of just a, uh, you know, well under a dollar. In the U.S., if you have to track it down, you're maybe paying 50 cents a pen or something like that. So it's not much cheaper than some other varieties. The Pentonic V-RT is this pen right here. And basically, this is the retractable version of the standard Pentonic. I'm not really sure why Link released a capped ballpoint before they released the retractable ballpoint, but uh, that's the way it happened. And these V-RT version of the Pentonic have been pretty hard to get in the US. Now you could find them on eBay and some other places, but it took me a long time to track these down, even though I know they've been available for at least a year. Here's the box it came in. It's sold in uh, single packs like this or in uh, multi-packs, I think you can buy them in, you know, 12 or 24 type boxes. Features include a super smooth, uh, sorry, a smooth grip for supreme writing, advanced retraction mechanism, that's the button on top, and a fast flowing ink technology. I think the ink is just a hybrid ballpoint ink. It's basically a modern ballpoint, not hugely different than what you'd see in a lot of other, from a lot of pen, other pen manufacturers. Uh, that's it, Pentonic V-RT. And now you have some good information. So it is uh, one unit. So this is sold on its own. Then we have, uh, I believe that is 20 rupees for one unit, blue. And then, yeah, so it was, the packing date was 2019, 11, 2019. So the pen is is uh, well over a year old. So again, they're pretty late to become available online and in the US. So this is the Pentonic. V dash R T. The ink is going to be the same as with the standard Pentonic, but we have that retractable ballpoint style. The pen itself looks a lot like an older Jetstream to me. You see a rubberized grip that's slightly wider than the rest of the body. All plastic components, there's no metal here, plastic front piece, kind of a italicized modern looking logo. Uh, modern looking font. It's not printed on very well. You can see the printing is not in keeping with the quality of the ink and it's definitely not in keeping with the uh, the pens that are being released for the same or similar price points, maybe a little bit more from Japan, say. And when I say price point, obviously like the Japanese pens aren't going to be uh, priced at, you know, 30 rupees or whatever. Uh, they are cheaper in the Indian market in an absolute sense, but if you're in the U.S. and you're buying these, you know, you're going to spend 8 or $9 or maybe $6 on one of these or versus importing a Japanese pen. So the prices are going to vary based on how you're getting it. And I'm talking about it more from being a U.S.-based buyer than in an absolute sense, just like than in a uh, the sense of being a local buyer where this is going to be cheaper. Anyway, uh, ballpoint pen, 0.7 millimeter ink, made in India, all plastic has a sort of some sort of jet stream type work here with this sort of uh the move from the sorry the gloss over to uh the satin finish or the matte finish and the angles here i don't know for me it, it feels a lot like an older jet stream 
the uh, quality generally is not as high and the pen's a little bit smaller. And these little markings here, these changes from texture to texture and the angles are not as extreme as a Jet Jetstream Sport, say, but pretty similar. The pen has a nice click to it. Nice firm click, sounds good. I don't know if I would call it an advanced click system or advanced retraction system, wherever they had it. It's just a pen click. The clip is plastic. It uh, definitely feels like they cheaped out on the clip. Nothing special there. This one is definitely one of those clips I'm going to break by accident when I'm using the pen. So uh, I've been careful around it. It's nice to see a metal clip. It's really the way to go. And it doesn't tend to cost a whole lot more from what I could tell. But if you're really trying to get these out as cheaply as possible, which is still the goal of some of the Indian pen manufacturers, then uh, especially for a mainstream pen like this, then plastic clip that's one piece with the body is really unfortunately the way it has to go it's not much else to the outside of the pen some writing there there's a rubberized grip a little uh marker there doesn't really do anything no roll stop or anything like that we see here it says india on it which is where it was manufactured and there's a little subtle piece here it doesn't serve any purpose the color is a little odd it's almost like a bronze whereas nothing on the pen is that color. Uh, but, you know, it's pretty cool. Looks almost like it's metal. You know, it's metallic, like an oil rubbed bronze or something like that. But uh, no real distinction to it. Here it says 0.7 millimeter. This piece, even though it's indented, it looks like it would move, indicating that the pen is retracted or something like that. It doesn't. The 0.7 is a little bit off-center, which I find to be quite annoying. Uh, you know, if you're going to do a special little carve out like that, then at least do it properly, not have it be off by, uh, you know, relatively speaking, by off by a fair bit. They didn't even get close with that. Uh, anyway, that's a pretty minor point. Opening the pen up, we can see that it uses an old school ballpoint refill like this. The pen uses a modern lubricated ink and uh, a nice big spring in here, but the uh it does come in this very cheap kind of affordable old looking housing uh which is kind of you know not really in keeping with some of the more modern ballpoints but it doesn't make too much of a difference and i've been unable to find new refills anyway so it hasn't been a big uh, big factor here but it is interesting to see this pen which is in many ways trying to be a more modern ballpoint using this uh, old school ballpoint refill it's a pretty cool spring here. You can see it's actually uh, it's wider. It's like flared. It goes wider at the bottom and narrower towards the top. Uh, I don't know why that makes any difference. It probably just has to do with how the pen is shaped on the inside, but it's cool to see. It's definitely a different type of design. This fits in there. And now we have... So, so it's a nice, smooth, modern-feeling ballpoint. Again, it's not jet stream smooth, but it is definitely smoother than the standard refill that would come with a ballpoint pen, like this uh, very boring standard Stadler uh, refill or Stadler refill. It has a lot of, this is an old school ballpoint, has a lot of drag to it. The color is light from the ball, kind of not really picking up the ink pro properly or perfectly at least, and has that almost grayish tone to it. You know, when it's writing, just right it's nice and black but that's rarely how it is you have to apply a lot of pressure to that and your hand will fatigue fairly quickly here with this you need very little pressure and you're getting the full blue tone because it uses that more modern lower viscosity ink it's not quite what you would find in an easy flow 9000 or this little easy flow 6000 but uh you could see it's it's fairly close. It's going after that sort of jet stream market, more modern. It's not there yet, but for the price, it's pretty impressive what they were able to pull off with this ink and this pen. So uh, I would definitely be keeping my eye on what Link is doing, particularly with the Pentonic series, which is where they're doing their like more modern design, kind of more following what I would consider to be, you know, the design and the principles of a, a Japanese pen. Not that like one is necessarily better than the other, but we definitely have seen over the past couple of years, uh, Uniball and others 
jump ahead in quality and other manufacturers and even other countries it seems like being left behind the non-retractable version the standard pentonic is uh it writes identically to the v-rt so there's no really surprises there and one is not better than the other as writing goes i think the v-rt looks a lot better this ballpoint it looks i don't know it just looks like too stripped down and too bare and the design just feels a little cheap to me the the uh writing tip it i mean the ink is there that's just from me using it but I, it just it's too skinny it just looks kind of cheap and a little bit too pointy to me i think the v-rt solves some of those problems and definitely looks more modern but it does write the same as the standard pentonic so if you want to try these out and and get a taste of a cool modern indian pen then you can go ahead and get this standard cap pentonic don't spend the extra money tracking down the v-rt which was uh frankly a real pain for me to find anyway very cool pen from link i'm super happy to have tried it out and uh, i'll be keeping my eye on what this company is producing so that's the pentonic v-rt thanks for watching